in a capitalist based um, global society uh, it is the economics which matters there is a well known phrase money makes the mayor go we are going to look at the economics uh, side of the content delivery networks so the design considerations are now, now going to be um, economics informed or finance informed we'll start off with an interesting example uh, of um, pasture with some herdsmen with their own sheep it's known as the tragedy of commons it's the most well known example uh, in gaming theory then we'd look at the incentives that would be expected by the cdns from the content providers then we'd look at the game theory as in network so what is tragedy of commons imagine a pasture that accommodates certain fixed number of sheep and this is a common good that serves the uh, community of certain herdsmen on an individual level each herdsman or a shepherd is interested in maximizing a uh, personal interest more sheep more wool more meat more money and one odd herdsman or a a shepherd a shepherd could imagine and uh, increase certain sheep or cattle and it would be all fine but there's a problem the problem is all are human rational thinkers so all herdsmen eventually come to the same conclusion so this results into a large increase in sheep when there are so many sheep the grass that the sheep consume is depleted and all sheep die of starvation eventually this actually means that the problem of uh, not accommodating the global good versus individual gain results into this disaster coming to the networks paradigm um if we look at the same issue of uh, each individuals incentives or uh, selfish interests are at odds with the societal gain this can be termed as um an optimization problem or an incentive misalignment issue let's look at an example it's from a certain research paper that 70% of nutella file sharing system uh they were actually leeches or free riders they didn't contribute any data to the network and as little as 1% of the nutella file sharing community was serving 50% of all the requests now this is against the very core spirit of um peer to peer file sharing systems this means that we have to somehow come at common terms through which we can encourage individuals to behave more responsibly so that the individual interests are met while maximizing the overall um incentives or the pro profit of the community specifically for the content delivery networks let's look at possible incentivization from the individual cdn provider from the content provider or someone who is a user and wants to participate as 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 a helper in the cdn community let's look at the participants incentives from from the cdn designer perspective a cdn designer or a cdn itself would be interested in incorporating or uh, uh, involving the end users as helpers for let's say content distribution something which is very much similar to peer to peer architecture you could rethink the uh, youtube central servers now getting distributed as peer to peer content providers in the uh, global community similarly the cdns could reach out to each other as 
though they are competitors for the same market, but they could join hands for the uh, infrastructure sharing and uh, coverage of a certain demographic. And another possible incentive or a desirable goal for a content provider is to uh, identify the infrastructure uh, that is part of the CDN, which is most loaded uh, and which would become the hotspot eventually becoming a failure point. Now, these are the incentives which have to be um, addressed for CDN. How such uh, optimization or trade-off be achieved? One possible way to look at it is in terms of a, a, a typical game like tic-tac-toe. Um, so what is game theory? Game theory is a theoretical approach towards studying the interactions between network elements as a game uh, in which the participating uh, entities are not cooperative. They rival and they take decisions uh, which have certain cost uh, for at the uh, uh, network level. So this game theory provides us the foundation and one of the most well-known uh, approach, uh, approaches is the Nash solution or the Nash equilibrium. It says that a certain uh, solution or a certain balance between uh, non-cooperating entities could be carved out uh, and a certain equilibrium stage could be reached where um, the individual user behavior could be predicted in how best or how far a user would go to achieve its own interests and infer the eventual outcome of the game. The game is not a user versus another user, but the overall consumption of the resources to maximize certain objective functions that the entire network community is about. So we can think about um, social optimum or the social best that could be achieved by maximizing the uh, individual good or the individual role of all uh, users who are actually maximizing their own utility function. The basic introduction of game theory is meant to address certain uh, CDN related uh, issues. The best uh, and most uh, well researched areas in uh, application of game theory for CDN include traffic uh, routing. Uh, traffic routing, uh, as, as we know, as the shortest path algorithms like Dijkstra's or Bellman Ford or for uh, uh, autonomous systems in the form of border gateway protocol, which works on uh, um, hot potato routing or any other optimization function. This is traditional traffic routing problem. However, game theory looks at it from a different perspective. There is a well-known paradox known as Press's um, paradox that actually has certain findings which are counterintuitive. It says that in increasing the network capacity by adding a new route or a link to a path may adversely affect the performance of the entire network. It means the congestion could actually increase. Now, the problem is further exacerbated if we look at how bad the situation could, could get once the users are allowed to freely choose their uh, traffic path. This is with regards to traffic routing. Now for uh, another issue in CDNs, that is uh, caching replication, uh, is to find out where exactly data should be hosted temporarily or permanent to satisfy a certain objective function, it means we are trying to look at increasing the area areas or the um, locations where data could be stored. At the same time, we do not want certain existing players which are storing data to exit or to defect from the network. So this is some kind of uh, trade-off uh, requiring uh, problem. Then we have the network formation. Network formation, as we know, is, uh, uh, is the formation of the 
uh, topology or the graph. Now, uh, it, this could be at any level. It could be at the physical layer. It could be at the data link layer. It could be at the network layer, or it could be at the application layer, like an overlay. So uh, the, the the concern is, what are going to be uh, uh, the new links for an incoming player that wants to establish its links to the existing uh, network elements? Uh, so it means the network is now going to be extended. Now with that extension coming from a new node. Would some of the existing edges be deleted when the new uh, node joins in? Similarly, a new node, uh, if it in has to increase its own utility function, uh, will it have to always increase the links or it might consider decreasing its own links to maximize its own utility? Now, these are the important areas that require the application of game theory that is basically a probabilistic model to look at how the economics of CDNs could be improved. We are referring to the same book thus far.